Yo, Rachel Rob. Hold on a minute. I know I haven't made a lot of videos lately. I had a new channel. I got a new channel and I got a I can't make videos longer than 15 minutes until I get my count really verified. I'm working on it. New channel. Had some problems with my other channel. Part of the reason I had problems with my other channel is because I was shooting my mouth off and some wrong people got a hold of some information, whatever. But I'm not going to stop doing what I do. I'm going to continue to rage about the Illuminati, about the New World Order. And yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. So I am making this video. I'm going to call it Obama the Satanist. Right, here I am with another New World Order bashing video. It, I know, people are going to get bored of me. Well, I got a photo on Facebook. You know, it's still up there, huh? Okay. Where there's a bunch of dead kids that were massacred by the Syrian rebels. And basically what I want to say in this video is that us as Americans are brainwashed into what the media tells us. We are so brainwashed and everything, you know, we're, we believe everything on the media. You know, the media tells us that Assad's a bad guy, that he's killing citizens with chemical weapons, but I have not seen the proof. While what's really happening is the Syrian rebels are the ones, they, they went in a, a Christian village and massacred all the women, children, and Christians. I got a photo on Facebook. I'll put a link below to my page. Facebook hasn't deleted the photo yet. They probably will. Not because the graphic image of dead kids on it with their throats slit, but probably because uh, probably because Facebook is run by the CIA. And CIA, you know, what is that? New World Order. Well, it's not. Well, I guess it's run by the CIA. They're using the Facebook. The CIA is using it to spy on us. But anyway. There's the photo right there. Yeah, that's that's wonderful. That's that's I put right down there. This is what Obama did. He killed. He, you know, he backed the uh, rebels in Syria, which is backed by Al Qaeda. By not, you know, which in case you don't know, is backed by Al Qaeda. I have to put this photo up. You know, let me zoom in because I have to be graphic. And the reason I have to be graphic with people um, is to get it through their skull. Because I could sit here, I could talk, you could see my face, and you could see my face, and, and you could see me talk and talk and talk, and it's not going to soak in. But yet if I show a picture of dead kids, and then maybe it will soak in what I'm saying. Obama is a children killer, okay? And I put down here, I kept going on about the New World Order and the Illuminati and how the media is brainwashing everybody. Yeah, I got because people are not listening to me, they are just ignoring me. So I have to put dead children up on my YouTube channel to get it through their skull. So yeah, because they're not going to listen to me if they just see my face. They got to see their evidence. There's the evidence right there. Because people don't listen. I don't know how more clear I have to be about this dictator we have in office. That he's just like Hitler. He's killing people. He's killing Christians. He brainwashed us when he got in the office. What was the what was the the big thing going on when he got in the office? GM and Chrysler. Hitler did the same thing. He brainwashed the people to get in the office, and then he started the killing when he got in the office back in 1939. Obama's doing the same thing. Let's save the people. Let's save a few jobs. Let's bail out GM. Let's bail out Chrysler. Let's bring Detroit back. Bullshit. If you're a union worker, you probably believe it. Not against union workers. Well, I'm against unions. I'm not against union workers. It's not your fault. You're brainwashed. You just have to be unbrainwashed. Okay? Some Obama supporting people I know back in Michigan that just can't figure it out for themselves. So let, let me get in the office. I'll win the people's vote by bringing Detroit back, bringing Chrysler back, bringing Detroit back, giving them free health care, 
giving them the free benefits of welfare, giving them food stamps, and get all the support, and then I'll start killing Christians, and then I want to fake massacres like Newtown to kill kids and to brainwash people through the media uh, by posting Newtown over and over and over and over. The stage, the stage massacre in Newtown where nobody got killed, where actors were put in to actors were put in to pose as teachers, actors were put in, they used children actors in there and fake a massacre, put it on all over media, blast it all over media to brainwash people for buyback programs to get our guns. That's what Obama's doing. And he's, the New World Order, they're not stupid people. They're very smart in what they do. All right. I know I'm up here and I'm sound like Alex Jones. But the New World Order is very smart and very, you know, they're very slow in what they do. And there's a reason why. Because they want to do it unnoticeable. When they brainwash the American people, they're trying to zombify us through the media. The media was part of the Bilderberg Group in this last Bilderberg meet in the United Kingdom. I'm not sure if they met yet or not. But members of the media were meeting with the Bilderbergs. Look up the Bilderbergs, you'll see. A group of people that want to control the world, pretty much. You know, big-time CEOs, big-time politicians, world leaders. Their ultimate goal is to destruct humanity and run the world for themselves. That's their ultimate goal, by wiping out the human population by 80% and killing Christians, as you see here in this picture, where Cyan rebels, backed by Al-Qaeda and our government, went in and killed the village full of uh, Christians, women, and children. The same, you know, the, the media, that's what they do. They, they brainwash us. They put out there what they want to put out there. They put out, they put out what they want to put out there, what they want us to believe is what I'm trying to say. An example is Iran. Iran president, when has he ever done anything? Bad, you know? We, they, la they labeled him like he's the axis of evil back when the Bush said axis of evil, North Korea, Iran, Iraq. Okay, I can agree with Iraq and North Korea well, when Saddam was in office. North Korea, a little fat boy, he looks like gum in style with the stupid sunglasses, little fat boy chink up there trying to take after his father, thinks he's a threat. Well, he's, you know, we, we're keeping an eye on him. We got to keep an eye on him because he's, he's just trying to show off. But anyway, little fat boy trying to show off a papa. I know I got, I, I got to, I can't upload a video longer than 15 minutes until I get my channel upgraded. Um, so anyway, Iran, we labeled this guy in Iran. All he did was, you know, you can, now you can use nuclear energy for, you know, radiation for peaceful purposes. What do you think is in a microwave? Radiation. What do you think is in a cell phone? Radiation. And uh, he admitted, hey, you know, I got a nuclear plant going. I'm just doing my own thing with this nuclear energy. You know, I'm not going to create no bomb or nothing. He came out and came out and, and said it. He's made no attempt in making a nuclear weapon. He's made no attempt of backing any terrorist organization. And guess you, I guess you want to say Hezbollah. What has Hezbollah done? Hezbollah has done nothing but defend Lebanon. And we labeled Hezbollah as terrorist. Because we got Israel stuck up our fucking ass. We keep sending money to Israel. Israel, a terrorist nation. And all Iran did was say, hey, if we get attacked, we will defend ourselves against America and against Israel. Don't fuck with us because we will wipe you off, you know, we will wipe Israel off the map. That's what pretty, pretty much what Iran said. Yeah, he said it. We will wipe Israel off the map if we are attacked. Leave the guy alone. He's not bothering nothing. Leave Iran alone. Let's focus on that little fat boy up in the north who thinks he's a threat, but he's not, actually not. He's brainwashing everybody through the, me or the media. The New World Order is using the media to brainwash the Americans because Americans are zombified and brainwashed. Sadly, that's what the country's come to. It's all over the place. 
brainwash us into believing that North Korea is a threat. That's what the New World Order is doing. That's what the Bilderberg, the Illuminati, that's what they're doing. Using the media to brainwash Americans to try to scare us. I mean, I mean, it's great. You see it everywhere. Even on the radio yesterday. Small example. Cash for clunkers. They still got, you know... There was a program on the radio yesterday right here in the Metro Phoenix area, right here in the Valley of the Sun, where they're giving cash away to get the clunker junk vehicles off the road. Because what they want to do is they want to put... They want all of us to drive brand new vehicles. They want all of us to drive newer vehicles. Because if you have a newer vehicle, what's most likely you have? Most likely you have a car debt. A debt to the, uh, the finance company. They want us, you know, I'd rather drive the clunker. That way I don't have any debt. But they want us to get the clunkers off the road. And this guy in this radio broadcast, he's like, yeah, we want these clunkers off the road. We got to get these clunkers off the road. Because we want everybody to be in debt with newer cars. We want everybody to be in debt for the rest of their life. I tried warning my dad. 11 minutes, okay. I tried warning my dad. You know, my dad, you know, 60-something years old. He's still got a car payment. I tried telling him, hey, you're 60-something years old. What the hell do you want a car payment for, you know? You got $5,000 cash. Go out and buy a nice car for $5,000. Oh, yeah, but I can get a brand new car with the payments are this low. I'm like, you're... You're 62 years old. You got you want a car payment? Not trying to bash my dad or nothing, but it's just an example of how brainwashed and zombified America is now. We believe everything in the media. We believe a fake massacre in Connecticut. The ultimate goal is they want to take our guns away, taking our guns, taking our liberties away. They want it. Proof right here on Facebook. They're killing Christians. I'm not so sure if this is true, but I heard in the UK it's illegal to walk around with a cross neck chain, like I walk around with. That's just what I heard, not saying if there's any truth to it. But the ultimate goal is to kill all Christians, brainwash all Americans into enslaving us into, until the communist dictatorship state that we're turning into. We're already there. We got to take it back, and the revolutionary people like me are trying to take it back. And then nine out of ten Americans will come against me and say, "Like, oh yeah, this raging Rob guy, this Rob Kennison guy, he's crazy, man. You see the shit that he talks about on YouTube? He's talking about fucking Illuminati, New World Order shit. Is this guy nuts? It's right in the Bible." Then in the end of days, uh, I'm not going to pull up any Bible verses somewhere here in Revelation. Then in the end of days, it's right in Revelation, in the end of days, that if you don't go along with the world, pretty much what it sums up is, if you don't go along with the world, then you're pretty much the crazy one, that Christians will be labeled as the outcast. That's right in Revelation, that Christians in the end of days will be labeled as the outcast because we don't want to go along with the rest of the brainwashed world. And, you know, they want to kill Christians, and they want to kill us Christians, and they want to piss on the Christianity uh, faith. I'm not going to say religion, because it's not a religion, it's a faith. You know, you see it every day. I've got to hurry up this video. It's less than 15 minutes. i got like a minute left, so i got to hurry up. Anyway, half billion dollar lotto jackpot. Get rich now. Let's think about your internal life here. This, is, this life I have is just temporarily, okay? I don't care about getting rich. I just care about surviving, okay? That's what I care about down here. But everybody's blowing their money at casinos, blowing their money on lottery, lottery jackpot. They get high, smoke crack, have sex as much as possible, and have luxury items. That's all I'm going to say. i got to hurry up. 15 minutes is almost expired. Okay. Rage and Rob, check out my videos. In my future videos, I will be bashing the Illuminati, the New World Order. There's a business on the corner here, 31st Avenue in Cheryl. New World Order bi building. I am going to bash them because that's what I do. Because I am going to stick up for the liberties of this country. And we need a revolution. We need to take this country back from the communist state that it's in. I got 19 seconds left. Goodbye.